reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exult, exult with her, all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over you like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies shall flourish like the grass. The Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, you, Lord, Lord, I have have found found my peace. peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, in you, Lord I have found my peace. peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child. Like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, within you, Lord I, have I have found, found my, my peace. peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and and forever. In, in you, Lord, Lord I, have I have found, found my, my peace. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday was the feast of St. Jerome, today the feast of the little flower. So is there any common ground between a crotchety, grumbling, 91-year-old biblical scholar on the one hand and a 24-year-old French Carmelite on the other? You can't get any more diverse than that, except that they're both doctors of the church, and they both teach with great authority the fundamental truth of Jesus Christ. And so the famous saying of St. Jerome in his commentary on Isaiah is, ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. He wanted to know Christ. He wanted to fall in love with Christ. Therese, the same thing. She comes to understand that she is small, she's humble, and that it's okay to do small things if you are in the heart of the church, which is the love of Jesus Christ. And so her little way is the way that teaches us that small things done with great love are equally important. Okay, we don't have to be players on the global stage. We're not all going to be the Pope. But we can all do what we do with great love. It's not an accident that that mantra was also picked up by Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who was named in her own way after uh, St. Therese the Little Flower. The whole, the whole spirit of doing small things with great love can change so much. She said that if I can pick up a pin off the floor with great love, I can, I can save souls. It's interesting, too, that her greatest desire was to be a missionary and a martyr. She was not healthy enough to be able to do either one. 
Yet, but because of her praying, she's been declared a patroness, along with Francis Xavier, of the missions. So, little things with great love can inspire us, and may they do it today. Let us stand and pray.